Hannah Mojo recently went on the Zach Sang show and on there she discussed a number of things. One of which was the vlog squad, which I've already made a video on and talked to you guys with. But there was something else that was covered on that episode that Tana and Brooke are now talking more about in their recent podcast episode. And it's probably one of the craziest things I've heard. So now I want to talk about it with you guys. This all has to do with Brooke's ex-boyfriend, Clinton Kane. Now, I didn't even know Clinton until I heard his song on TikTok one day. And then very soon after that, he was on the Zach Sang show. And I watched the whole episode and I was like, oh my gosh, I really feel for this guy. Like he was talking about his music and how meaningful it is for him and how it's really helped him through a lot of stuff. And he opened up about his mom passing and his whole music career practically being a lot about family and her and everything. I I feel like right after that Zack Sang show interview, he was really blowing up. I was seeing him so much more and he was even interviewed by the Grammys. They did a whole article on him where they talked about the fact that he lost three close family members in one year and how he coped with that through music. And then I remember seeing Brooke say in a vlog later on that this was her boyfriend. And I was like, oh my gosh, Tana's Brooke. I am so happy for her. This guy seems so nice. He seems so great. I love his music, all this stuff. But it didn't end up being a good thing. That is for sure. Brooke had kind of ended up hinting that she was cheated on. And after that, Tana and her podcast kind of went on a long break. They were trying to figure out the future of the canceled show. And so there was a big Big chunk of time where they weren't doing it anymore and that big chunk of time just happened to be the time where Brooke and Clinton broke up and there was so much drama that happened with her and her boyfriend when her and Tana were trying to figure out their podcast and they did not have a show that they were doing every single week because I'm pretty sure if they could have given us the weekly update it would have been wild because what I'm hearing now is just crazy because Tana and Brooke and Zach Sang are now alleging that Clinton's mom is alive and Clinton is a complete liar. So yes, when I told you guys I watched him back in the day on the Zach Sang show and he was talking about his music, he did say that his mom was dead. A part of Christianity in yes. the church. Yes, yes, yes. Because your mom's a Pentecostal pastor. Mm -hmm. Was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you you gonna laugh about it? No, 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 no. I just love the is what i'm sorry <laughs> I, I, it is. everyone my mom's dead <laughs> just say it zach say it to my face but then there ended up being a comment left under this interview with zach where somebody said they went to school with clinton and they know for a fact that his mom and brother are both alive and well and they literally did not know what he was talking about in this interview and were super confused and now we're hearing that this comment and the other comments that were like, his mom is alive. This is so confusing and so weird. Like, why is he lying? This was the reason why him and Brooke broke up because she found out through this. Tana found out through this. Zach found out through this. Like everybody found out that he was allegedly apparently a liar because of this interview and these comments. And I remember at the time that all this was going down, I actually got a DM about this. And people were saying that, you know, he was allegedly lying. And I was just like, what am I reading? Like, this is the craziest thing. But I didn't want to say anything yet because Tana hadn't come out and said anything. Brooke hadn't come out and said anything. Nobody had reported on it. I was like, I don't know, like something about this just like is strange. And I also wanted to see if he was going to say anything. And he did. He actually did make a post on his Instagram in January addressing this thing and trying to give a little bit of an explanation as to why some people were saying his mom was alive. And he wrote this whole thing that said, Dear family, I'm writing about something that's been on my mind and my therapist feels I'm ready to talk about it. Even though I don't have to or feel the need to, as this is an incredibly personal subject regarding my grief and my pain. It's effing disgusting how I have to sit here and write this down for me to explain to people who I don't need to explain anything to. This is my life. I feel so sad, angry, frustrated, and effing bewildered at some people in my life and even people outside of my life who have assumed that they know me and my story. So much so that they have threatened me with some made up gotcha moment and never let me process my grief from the last couple of years. It is truly pathetic. My loss is just that, my loss. Not for anyone to define, label, or judge. 
but they still are so unfortunately here i am having to post and explain feelings and events that i am still coming to terms with and dealing with when i lost my mom it was my mom i have been estranged from my biological family for years this amazing woman who has been my mom was the one who showed me love protection and guidance over my lifetime and i lost her sadly as most people who have unique family situations and even adopted people will understand most people just assume everything must be biological. After I lost my mom, I felt the way anyone would, confused, lost, and pissed off that I was not able to be there. I was on a effing Zoom watching a funeral for effing sake. I didn't feel it was anyone's business to go deeper than that. I lost my mom, mine, and that's what mattered. It is still what matters, and I will continue to honor her image and privacy. So to those of you who get it, who are estranged from your family, thank you. To my fans who I consider family who have stuck by me, I love you with all my heart. To those of you who don't get it, maybe one day you will. It isn't my responsibility or problem to make you understand something that I alone am going through. And for the record, I'm not apologizing. I am expressing. So in the episode where Tana Mojo was recently on Zach saying they went in on Clinton, they went in on him because Zach was super close with him and Tana watched what Brooke just went through. And well, they had a lot to say. They were weirded out by the whole situation and Tana was just expressing how mad she was for Brooke. And Zach was upset knowing that he is the reason why Clinton and Brooke even met in the first place. Allegedly, Clinton Kane, who you may know from TikTok, he wove together this entire narrative that he had lost his mother. Oh yeah, he told us that on the show. This show. Mm -hmm. And there were a lot of comments. Yeah. I mean, that's that's actually kind of it's where it all started. Where it all started. He came on Zach Singh and was like, it, it, "Well, my parents, my mom is dead." And then all the comments were like, "That's weird, cause here's her Facebook page, like type, sh you know." And yeah. um, that's kind of allegedly Clinton Kane has lied about his mom being dead, um, even though he's released numerous songs about it, an album about it. And they think that his post on Instagram trying to explain it all is just another one of his lies. He posted an Instagram post where he was like, there's been a lot of speculation lately about, you know, my mother passing away. It wasn't my mother. It was, I was adopted at a young age and it was a person who was like my mother, my motherly figure who actually passed away. And that's my real truth. And But that's a lie too. That's a lie too? For sure. Yeah. He wasn't in my adopted. opinion, in my opinion. So on this week's canceled podcast, Brooke wanted to talk about the fact that Zach Sang brought up the topic of Clinton with Tana, and she seemed a little bit upset about it. My ex says, or all his music is about his family being dead, and they are allegedly alive. And we I, think. I feel very strongly about this, and I think that's maybe why Zach was like, "Oh, I'm going to ask Tana," because he knows off camera, like nothing has ever made <clears throat> me sicker in like the Hollywood space than yeah. that story. That question was a bullet point on a piece of paper to ask you that day, and I, that's yeah. what I don't appreciate is like, I wasn't there. Yeah. And I understand. I that. wasn't there, and it, it drags me into it when when Zach particularly knows I wanted nothing to do with like carrying out like that story. Yeah, telling that story, I wanted nothing to do with that. Yeah, and it was not only told, but told with my name attached to it, attached to it, and like yeah. it as a, my relationship story. And I wasn't there to speak for myself. I don't appreciate that at all. She did ultimately go on to say that it is a bit of a relief to have the story out there now. And also, if anyone was going to be talking about it, she was glad at the end of the day it was Zach. She did say, though, that Zach told somebody that he cut out that part of Tana's episode, but it was left in. Choosing your episode was didn't leave a good taste in your mouth. It made it about me. And at that time, I didn't even know how about me it was. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then he told me he cut it. And then it came out anyway. He didn't tell me. He so Zach didn't count your days. No, it, I no, mean, like, but... listen, whatever. Like, again, I thought I, he cut sh it. I should feel no responsibility to protect anybody's like reputation. It's yeah. stupid. It's stupid. Mm -hmm. Zach himself didn't ever respond to me. I, I so he relayed the message to somebody. That he cut it, and I was sleeping fine at night, thinking like, okay, like I can live another day without having to worry about this story. Like, yeah. She does want to clear up that she doesn't have anything against Zach, though, but she just like didn't love that a lot of her business was aired out. But she understands that it sort of is like 
Zach's business as well since he brought the two of them together and he was really close with Clinton. And listen, no shade to Zach saying I love Zach saying I think he's amazing. <laughs> but no, I'm serious. <laughs> I, I, well, I feel, I feel like I just really went in on him. Like, I didn't mean for it to be like that. I just, That's I how hate, you feel. I hate that I have to talk about something I didn't want to talk about. So it's been a really crazy ride dealing with her ex, clearly. I mean, this is one of the crazier stories I've heard. Someone allegedly getting accused of lying about something like this. And this isn't even the only thing that he is allegedly possibly almost lied about. People are saying that he fakes his accent. And this one I know for sure because Brooke did say it on a podcast, but originally he lied to her about his own age when they first started dating. And she said this on the Plan Bree podcast. But, you know, I just found out yesterday that my my boyfriend, who I have been, he just told me like very casually, like, oh, I'm actually two years younger than I said. Whoa. <laughs> I'm like, what? How what? old did he say he was? <laughs> he said he was, he's probably, he's going to be so mad at me for saying this, but he said he was 24. Mm -hmm rightfully so because I, I don't think i would have dated someone younger than me if i knew me either i can't do that been together for three months though and he's kept this yeah that's crazy. And, and worse than that <laughs> grace worse boyfriend. than that grace he showed me his id and it was a fake I, shut, shut, up. Up. shut up shut up shut <laughs> up well, well okay so okay we could take this like, a lot of ways like crazy or he really really liked you and he no, wanted yeah, he, you to that, i mean he just didn't I I, like adorable. honestly that would have been like off-putting for me in the beginning now of course it doesn't matter because i know him and like, yeah like I don't care, but maybe in the beginning I would have been like, oh, I could never. So there's just a lot of things going on here and I want to know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.